What's up, guys? I'm back with another movie review. Uh, this is another one from Code Red, one of my favorite labels. I talk about them all the time. I review a ton of their movies. Um, this one is called The Forest. Um, it is from it's number 59 from Code Red. Um, this one is by Don Jones, who also did uh, Schoolgirls in Chains and some other kind of sleazy exploitation horror movies. Um, the basic premise is a married couple is on the outs with each other. They're having a lot of relationship problems. So they think like, oh, we'll go into the woods for the weekend. We'll reconnect and we'll rekindle and everything will be okay. Or, you know, things will just completely deteriorate. So anyway, they go into the woods together with another couple who's a little bit more stable at least. And essentially everything just kind of goes to shit once they get to the woods. But honestly, even before they get there, I think the movie's really entertaining because I love relationship drama. I love dysfunctional people. I love mean people in movies. And uh, that's definitely the case here. The bickering and the arguing uh, gets personal really quick and it's really fun to watch. Um, and that's even before the horror kicks in. Once they get to the woods, the horror kind of kicks in and they realize that there's an old man who lives in the woods and he's a cannibal and he wants to kill people and eat people since he's a cannibal and everything. Uh, then there's also ghost children, which is fantastic. Uh, these ghost kids have the most annoying voices you have ever heard in your life. Well, maybe that's an exaggeration, but they're extremely annoying, really oddly chosen uh, effects that they put on the voices. Uh, the kids want to kind of help everybody because they don't want anybody else to die. They just want to be reunited with their family, and the cannibal guy just wants to eat everybody, so it creates a conflict there. And then it just basically just becomes who's going to survive, you know, and who's going to make it out and, you know, what's going to happen to these poor ghost children with their terrible voices. Uh, the movie is solid. It's not fantastic. It's not like a must-see movie or anything like that. Um, I do think a lot of people call it a slasher movie, even after they've seen it for some reason. I guess there's little hints of that formula in there, but there's not enough bodies. There's not enough gore. It just doesn't feel like a slasher movie. It just kind of feels like a, a horror thriller, kind of, but it definitely has a horror vibe to it. It's definitely not just the thriller. I I just don't think it's a slasher movie. It doesn't have a lot of blood. doesn't have a lot of nudity. It does have a lot of crazy dialogue, and the ghost kids are bizarre, so there are some like quirky, weird moments to it. Uh, the pace is kind of slow at times, and that's a real drag. Um, I think that's probably the biggest complaint I have about the movie. I don't mind that there's not a lot of gore, but I do wish that the movie moved a little bit quicker. Um, other than that, I think it's solid, but it's not something you, know, you should particularly like, rush out to see or anything. Uh, the D the Blu-ray from Code Red has a new HD scan from 2016. It's got an audio commentary track, actually two audio commentary tracks, a featurette, and the original trailer. I didn't watch any of the extras because I just wanted to see more movies, but the transfer looks really good. I mean, it, it is what it is. It doesn't look pristine, but I don't think it ever will. Uh, this is probably not the kind of movie that's ever going to get a uh, you know insane criterion level restoration, but I think it looks fine. Uh, it definitely looks better than any version I've seen before. Um, as far as recommending the movie, I think if you're a horror fan, you should probably check it out at least once just to see it. Uh, if you're a fan of Don Jones, you should check it out. Um, I would mostly say it's just for people who like bizarre movies, and it's almost like a little too slow at times to make a super strong recommendation. But I do think if you're into weird movies and the idea of like an old man cannibal and two ghost children interacting with dysfunctional married couples interest you, give it a shot. I thought it was decent fun. I'm definitely glad I have it in my collection. And again, uh, that's The Forest, number 59 from Code Red. Um, I would go to CodeRedDVD.com or ScreenArchives.com to get it. Don't pay crazy prices. This one is definitely in print probably forever. <laughs> and so uh, definitely check it out. If you like this video, be sure to go to my website, MarkFusion.com. I've got I posted over 500 reviews just this year alone in like the last you know eight or nine months. Uh, new reviews every day of the crazy movies, anime, TV shows, games everything you can think of um, and also follow me pretty much everywhere you can find me is mark fusion that's on twitch twitter uh, instagram everywhere thanks for watching this video guys i really appreciate it and hopefully i'll see you soon